Yeah, let's try booting that up again and seeing if we can get the uh, the intro cutscene to play. This is a game I've seen before, but I've never personally played Chrono Trigger. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I had to show this, this intro animation off. Uh, this was created for Chrono Trigger in part by uh, Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball, and the distinctive animation style is very recognizable. I had to look it up as soon as I saw these faces. I was like, wait a minute. I've watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z, and I know those eyes and nose anywhere. Let me know if the volume balance feels right as we as we go through here. It might still be a little little bit loud. Ooh, I, I think I have the, the American theme song for the DJ Josh Crox. You can see why the soundtrack for this game is so much beloved. Frog. sound effects. <laughs> well, that's quite that's quite an introduction. And I think that's definitely something that that really helps make a game leave a lasting impression. So, as before mentioned, I have never before played Chrono Trigger. However, I have seen parts of it, and I know uh, pieces of both the story and a, a few of the a few of the secrets um, in the game. Chrono Trigger is a game about well, involving time traveling across various times as part of the storyline. Uh, I know it's also a game where you can get a variety of different endings based on how you play through with new avail new options available when you uh, new game plus Potato Pete thank you so much for the prime sub I've also seen uh, I think I've seen a speed run of Chrono Trigger at one of the GDQ uh events so I I know for example that one one of the ways to finish Chrono Trigger I think I watched the new game plus speed run so you just you start the game and then you immediately go to the teleporter where you can fight the final boss. And if you have new game plus stats, you can win that fight. But if you don't, then you can't and you just lose. So I've, I've, seen, I've seen going straight to the Lavos fight, for example, uh, of Chrono Trigger. But most of the rest of the game is completely unknown to me. I think I've also probably heard most, if not all, of the soundtrack across, you know, the, the many, many years since this game's release. People have played it for so many different reasons. This is a classic JRPG. My understanding is that the battle system in Chrono Trigger is pretty similar to Final Fantasy VII, a game that I have played, where you've got these... Um, an ATB system, it's called. Little time-based meters that fill up, and when your character's meter fills to its max, you take a turn. You've got 
attack, defense, magic stat, very, um, very old school JRPG mechanics. And there's, you know, there's elixirs and mega elixirs and all that good stuff too. If you've played a Final Fantasy game, I'm sh especially one of the older ones, I'm sure you'll be at home. So let us start a new game. I'm allowed to choose battle mode active or wait. My understanding is that the only difference here is that the active choice means that uh, time continues to pass when you're in the menus in battle. I'll choose wait so that I can talk to chat while I'm deciding what to do. You can choose between original or high res graphics. Interesting that it defaults to original. I'm actually not sure what I'm, I guess we can toggle back and forth probably um, at any time. What the heck? My controller just, yeah, it did. <laughs> My controller just rebooted. Hold chat for the names of the two characters that will encounter. Sweet. I'll be choosing my own name, of course, as well. Let's leave the graphics on original for now. Let's see how those feel. Corona. Use up to five characters. Wow, that is... <laughs> that's OG. The max, the max number of characters for my name is five? I could be Balo. <laughs> I guess it'll be Bale. That works. That works. I have to hit what? Enter? Yeah. There we go. Baylor. <laughs> Bale is correct. Ma Bale. Oh, thanks for the clarification there, too, Feely, about how the, the battling works. The remake bumped it up to six. My god. Bale. Bale! Bale, are you still sleeping? You slept through the beginning of the video game. Again. Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Definitely some OG pixel art here. Looks pretty good on my uh, my 4K monitor here in person. Uh, I definitely grew up with this kind of visual fidelity in games, so it feels pretty at home to me. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? You're finally awake. <laughs> I've heard them say we've reached Morrowind. Oh, I, I heard about the, the Final Fantasy V and VI remakes, the Enhas. Um, uh, that's definitely an unfortunate one, where the, uh, the finished product ended up being worse than the original. Oof. Oof. Well, you'd better not let that giddiness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Come on now, out of bed with you. All right, let me see, can I? No, I can't compare yet. Oh dear, it's definitely not the menu I wanted to open. Oh, here we go, set this. So yes, let me just... Hmm. I'm not sure I like that more. I have mixed feelings, personally. It's definitely, um... It's definitely smoother looking. But there's something about the outlines almost makes it a little fuzzier looking. It's fascinating. Let me go back again. Fuzzy looking is how I would say. Or 
hours. This is a lot. Crisper. Brighter? Sharper. I think it's probably a per object <laughs> preference. I'm going to leave it on the OG for now. For maximum nostalgia bombing. It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see... Oh dear, what was her name? That young inventress friend of yours. What the poll say? Uh, actually, oddly hard for me to look up my own poll results. <laughs> Moderators, help me! Totally not Bulma, by the way. I have to use the keyboard for this. Interesting, can't use the, the thingamajig. This is Lucka, okay. You got it. That's right, Luka! Luka? Wait, which way is correct? You're gonna stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then, and be back before dinner! Kitty. Kitty. Okay, it looks like uh, Auto Run is on, that's always good. Luka! Must be quite beautiful, she's a real Luca. Wait, where was I going? I've immediately gotten lost. Who's in? So I have to press. Okay, so we have an oh, kind of over map that we can go on to. You've been to the fair yet? What are you doing here then? You have to wait a thousand years for another millennial fair. Festivities are in Lean Square, just up north. More tents and stalls than you could shake a stick at. But what if I had two sticks, huh? So this is different than the original with the Overlord, Overworld, Overlord, Overworld character sprite. That's interesting. Luca. Should maybe. Uh, yeah, probably better if I walk around using the D-pad rather than the analog stick. Since there's only four direction and inputs anyway. Today is the 1,000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. So I've seen a little bit of this, uh, this kind of like festival before. There's like a whole bunch of games you can play and prizes to win, but it's uh, sort of like the tutorial area. Yeah, how long could this tradition possibly have been in place, right? How did they even know to, to do another one? Come one, come one all to the Tent of Horrors. Spend your civil points here. Put your bravery to the test. You have zero points. This is as good a place as any to spend them. Really now. Got a knight chasing a cat. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of people to talk to? Question mark? There was a big war hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's armies. My mom said that if we lost, we wouldn't be having a fair like this today. The Fiend Lord. This is Lean Square. Legend has it that people who hear Lean's bell live happily ever after. Oh, the cursor's on screen? Let's fix that. Actually, properties. Do not capture cursor. Okay, cursor will never be on screen again. Thank you. Oh, though now the cursor is on my screen, my my personal screen, but not your screen. <laughs> okay, now we're good. I hear Luca and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again, like the last one. Newsar, thanks so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the QZ Sub Club. This kingdom's been through some hard times, like the war against the Fiend Lord 400 years ago. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. 
There's no weird war or anything catastrophic happening. Winky face. At the start of this peaceful RPG where everything is going well. Bonk. Oof. Ouch. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant! Lady? Don't tell me I lost it! Your pendant? Oh, thank goodness, my pendant! I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes. You must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? You got it, lady. Yahoo! Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's... Um... Nadia is her name. Got an intense look to you, Nadia. That's what I'm being told is our name. You got it. And your? Bale, what a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Bale. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Nadia follows us around. Good stuff. Is that a cat? What is... Yes, that's a cat. Kitty. Go straight ahead if you want to try your hand against Luca's bipedal robot battler, Gato. You can win silver points if you beat him. Uh, we want to... Can't save yet. Okay, fair enough. Let's do it anyway. Gato! It's a big robot, man. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. Can't save ever plead. Okay, so we have to select an action pretty quickly. Once the the yellow bar, I think, is the ATB bar, and the green bar is our, uh, our health. It's definitely not clear what is going on at any given moment, <laughs> but I think a deeper understanding of the battle system could really help with that. There we go. We were able to to victory. Seems like there's some amount of some amount of moving around on the battlefield, and that I don't know what to make of yet. Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. Here are your 15 points. Now wasn't that fun? Thanks for the points. Now we could probably grind out here a little bit if we wanted to get some. RPG starter, whatever. And there's a dedicated button for attack command. Cool. Let me just see. Let's see one. there. Are his cursors back? What? That was all. It's still set to not capture... Oh, I know what's going on. Ah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. That was not OBS's fault. That was my fault. Man, get out of my way! How dare you! Preparations are still underway. Enjoy yourself in the square for a while and check back later. Oh ho ho, that was nothing like a good fair. Say, have you heard the gossip? 
There's only one. Have you heard it? Uh, I'm too embarrassed to say no. Oh, well, never be mind then. Wait. I have not heard it. Ah! Oh, I see. Okay. Just between us, I heard the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Whoa. Rude. Just once I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Drinking contest, step right up. Plus A as fast as you can. Ready? Drink! Chug, chug, chug. Chug a lug. Not bad. I'll put some five silver points on your card. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Bale? Yeah. My kitty ran away. Wait. I know where Kitty is. Kitty! You're coming with. Kitty, no. Vibrate harder, Kitty. You've got this. Look at that cat go. That's a happy cat. Kidding. Um. You brought back my kitty. Thank you. Bail, you're so sweet. I also appear to have gotten stuck inside this child. Which is a uh, predicament. Help, I can't move. All I can do is shake my head. I can attempt to walk, but there's no... There's no... Um, now what? It's only been 30 minutes, and we've already managed to get stuck before we reach the first save point. Um, not sure what to do without completely resetting the game and starting a new save file. Because I'm not allowed to save. We have not yet been allowed to save. I switched to Nadia. How would I do that? Can't create a save state because this is not an emulator. Hmm. Alright. Oh good. There was an auto save of some kind. Wonderful. All is well. But I'm not saving your cat again, lady. You haven't earned it. Though so the way forward is not yet clear. Alright, fine, I'll do it. Less vibrating this time, kitty. lodged. Alright, successfully didn't get stuck. It's over here. Catch your rhythm, huh? You can dance long. Okay. 
It's good stuff. So we'll play a few more games, talk to a few more people, see if that opens up the progression here. I'll also re-drink, since we did lose that progress too. You're on thin ice, kitty. Some more things to the side around here. Who haven't we spoken with? Can't talk to this lad. I can go in the spooky house now. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is just about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? I'm Biggs. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. Which one is big? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You are. Easy. It's a Poyozo doll. It'll spruce up your room. Success? Let's go with success. Speak with this man. are a little sensitive sometimes. Fifty G, sure, give me money. Not ready yet. I think uh, we start with a little bit of money. Delicious. But um I'm probably not going to buy anything for a little while. I've got a feeling that Steel Runner just might pull it off today. Steel Runner. Let me talk to you. There's a race underway. Be quiet and watch. Oh, that's what this is going on. It's a race. Talk to, the once, talk to me once the runners have lined up there after the race. Merchant said he'd buy accessories if they're in good condition. Melchior, the swordsmith at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Yeah, we could buy a bon bronze blade here. That does show me the stat increase. That goes from 8 to 10. Do I have anything to sell? No. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. By the way, is there any chance you could talk that young lady into selling her pendant to me? Sure. Oh my, that pendant is? Dear me, I haven't the money to buy a thing like that. Keep it safe. And as a valuable trinket you carry. Seems to be the end of that interaction. We can buy potions. I should probably buy a couple of these. One panacea, nice and cheap. Athenian water, aka Phoenix Down, revives a KO'd ally. Shelter, fully restore health at a safe point. Buy one more potion. Luca's device is all. Luca's device, excuse me, is all set up now. You know, just go straight to the back of the square. Thank you. Total blam blam. Thanks for the sub port. Hello, Hero Element. We're playing the remastered version of this that's available on Steam. Just a minute. I'm gonna get some candy. Okay, you got it, lady. 
Wait, give me a second to choose. Choose orange. I'd like one of those. Sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting. Step right on up, Annie, with the time and courage, our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Simply hop up here, and you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Bail! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun. I'll watch you while you try it out. Just hop up onto the left pod. System activate. Initiating energy transfer. So, how was it? Want to try again? It worked! Unbelievable! They never were. I mean, as I was saying, Luca has done it again, ladies and gentlemen! A thrilling display of science at its best! What does teleport mean? Wow! So, can we... Depart? Do it again. Okay, so that can just happen. Hmm. Nothing anything else here? I'll wait to talk to her. It looks like fun! I want to try it too! When did you manage to pick up a cutie like her, Bale? It's alright, isn't it, Bale? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Okay, I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. Ominously. No way, I'm not afraid. Festive music immediately fades. Again, not at all ominously. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great, great big hand when she teleports from the platform. System activate. Vigorous wrench. Hammering. Initiating energy transfer. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? And then she's gone. Luca, she's not reappearing. Well, all right, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. Please applaud now. What just happened, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared and the way her pennant seemed to be reacting to it, something else must have caused it all. But what? Dot, dot, dot. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar, I know I've seen her somewhere. I can grab her pendant, right? Bail! Oh, you're going after her? What a fine lad. 
That's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Bale. Embrace yourself. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. I need more power. I think we did it. Good luck, Bale. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. And so we're thrown into time. Here's where the game begins proper like, I think. Open the menu at this point. Groblins. So am I allowed to move around? I don't think so. Technique points, I think. Let's save yet. Somebody just disappeared up to the top there. Go! Airdropped goblins. One of my understandings about... We get Cyclone. One of my understandings about this game is that... Um... There are no random encounters in Chrono Trigger. All the enemies are pre-placed in some fashion. And a lot of them can be avoided through various means, if you want to. Potion. Can I use... I am allowed to use those, if I wish. Power glove. That increases my strength. A little bit less speed, though. Plus two versus the headband is speed plus one. Got it. A lot of old RPG combat is just equipping stuff with better stance. Leveling up. So let's go Cyclone. You can choose which one to hit. Looks like it indicates with the fingers who else is going to get hit. So the, the solid finger is who we're targeting, and then the blinking finger is other enemies that are being affected. Gems, though. That brings us back to the world map, where we can now save. The residence, the market. Get to the inn first. Where are you, you say? You some sort of simpleton? Even a half-wit should know the land for Guardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army, day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. Pray tell you knew that much, at least. Nope, I'm a simpleton. Truly, you're a, a wayfarer, then? Oh, wow, they really broke out the harsh insults for this. I suppose you might not know if that's the case.
Bear, have you gone mad? This is no time for mirth and mummery. We're at war, son. Pick a side. Oh, praise be, they found clean Queen Lean wandering up in the canyon. She'd been missing for so long, I'd feared the worst. She must be back at the castle by now, getting some much-needed rest. Wait, a new person arrived. Who are you? Speak with me, sir. You an outsider, too? The name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you can spare ten gold to buy this round, I'll be a storyteller, too. What do you say? Got it, buddy. Another mug. Cheers, friend. Well then, a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood, and there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch, but... Beg your pardon? They found Queen Lean in the canyon. Hmm. It seems my suspicions were misplaced. Interesting. Gossip we overheard was immediately relevant. The Fiend Lord's army laid waste to Xenon Bridge. We've lost our only road to the southern continent. It's not a good place to be, man. I think our hearts are all a little more at ease now. When Queen Lean disappeared, it was all the king could think of. He thought it the Fiend Lord's doing and dispatched soldiers to the four corners of the realm to find her. But she's been found and that's all that matters. Rooms are ten gold for the night. Fair enough. Apparently no reason to... Nice bell. What's up, friends? I'm Banta, the village blacksmith. I'm forging this bell at the king's behest as a symbol of his love for Queen Lean. The queen's vanishing act had me wondering if all this work would be for naught. After all, what's the bell without the queen, eh? But it seems they found her in the canyon. She's back at the castle now, and I'm back to work. My husband wants a daughter both clever and fair. But you can only choose one. She will be unfair, but very clever. So you've a mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Fiendlorn's army, have you? Well, that's quite presumptuous of you, but I... All right. Remember to equip the weapons you buy. Good advice for classic RPG. Don't forget to equip things after you buy them. Seems like our top priority is going to be to get more people in the party. Sell potions and such. Not a whole lot of need for... new things. Although, 8 defense sounds like quite a bit. Maybe buy a bronze helm? It's not like it's expensive. Please take me 22. So I must already have armor equipped or something. Oh, I had a hide cap. Defense 3. And we have a hide tunic defense 5. Got it. Hey, hey, BGB, this is not the DS version. No. A millennial fair? Have you been in your cups? Our kingdom is only 600 years old. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's ominous. I scarce remember the days before the war against the Fiend Lord began. The months turned to years. When will this all end? So, we're approximately 400 years in the past. The Fiend Lord that we were heard about must be back in some fashion. Forest. Where am I even going exactly? That part was not clear to me. Nolia Cathedral. Zenon Bridge, which seems to be out. Yeah, we just talked about the road to the southern con continent being out. I think Guardia Forest is where I'm supposed to go. Let's save first. Queen returns. Yeah, she's safe in the castle, they said, so I should go speak with the queen. Oh, we have a handy date meter in the uh, in the bottom left there. 600 AD. After Kingdom. Bricksmeyer, thank you so much for seven months of support. Keeping it cozy. 
Guardia Castle, north beyond the forest. Look for Pokemon in wild grass or tall grass. Ah! I only hit two of them. It's still worth doing, I think. Wait, what? Can't just die bomb me preemptively. Umber Tarasin, thank you so much for the Prime sub. X to do manual attack. I'll give that a try. Nope. <laughs> Although I can move the menu to the top, apparently. Probably the DS version that has the manual attack button that people are thinking about. If I had to guess. Yeah, that was 120 gold, so I don't feel bad about using potions at all. Just make sure we stay topped up for each encounter. Probably a good idea. We'll thoroughly explore the forest here. I'm sure there's some battles to be had. And some loot to be found. Hello. Oh dear. Ah, yes, it is, uh, why? Oh, no, that's just a toggle auto battle mode. Oh, there's an auto battle mode. That's different. I understand. Probably won't be using that much. The enemy dropped a shelter. So if we just put it in auto battle mode, what happens here? Assume that does default attacks whenever possible. Or could even just be repeat the last thing we've done. That'd be better than just only attack, I suppose. Strength capsule. Permanently raise strength by one. I will definitely use that on me. Capsules are a big way for progression in this game, as I understand it. That permanently gives us a damage boost, I think. Poor goblins aren't able to stand up to too much here. Actually, just a trap, like it was. Not planning on any kind of min max run, no. Rather just use him immediately. I definitely don't want to uh, engage with any kind of optimal that involves hoarding items forever. No, thank you. That's definitely not a track I would mind hearing over and over and over again. Okay, I think that's most of the things in the woods. Let's see what's up here. Halt! Who goes there? 
I've not seen your face before, and those outlandish clothes wouldn't be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would we, mate? Ha! Fat chance! Look at him! That boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone serve in the Fiend Lord's army. Yeah, suppose you're right. Now run along, mate, before we're forced to lock you in the towers. Stop that at once. Queen Lean. That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. But your majesty, there's something strange about his look. I think he's a weeb. You'll refuse to obey my orders? No, no I forgive me, my lady, please. Enter. Hee hee. Guardia XXI sits an audience within. Hmm. You the king? Certain green boy. Raw. I know who he is. I cannot wait to meet him. Am I to understand that you played some role in helping to rescue my lady wife? I don't think that I did, actually. Unless I'm misremembering something. Might you know what befell Lean? She's been acting rather oddly since her return, and she seems to have lost the coral hairpin she always wore. She always treasured that thing so. Forgive me, you must be tired. Please rest in the night's quarters down the stairs to the left. I'll speak to the commander. Hmm. No spoilers or anything, but I suspect you may have a doppelganger with you, sir. To the left, he said. Is this a blind playthrough? Not exactly. I mean, as as blind as you can have of a playthrough of, of a game that's 20-ish years old and that people have talked about on the internet constantly over the last 20 years. So I've, I've heard bits and I've seen bits, but I've never actually played this game. I'm not completely ignorant of its characters or mechanics or story events. Wait, that's not how left works, is it? Oh, I see. The stairs keep going. Understood. Loot! 100 G. What does G stand for? Hmm. I want that to be replaced with the dramatic hamster noise. Hmm. What do you want? Speak on from here. Good day, sir. Chambers are in the middle? The Majesty awaits you. You got it. It's been over ten years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappear- I- Again, I think you guys have got a problem here. This is not your queen. You're the one who saved our queen. I expected a bit more dashing. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. As you wish, Your Majesty. Come nearer. Don't be shy. Hee <laughs> hee. I know that laugh anywhere. Fooled you, didn't I, Bail? It's me, Nadia. But everyone keeps calling me Lean for some reason.
I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Bale. What's happening? Suddenly, the room got all green. Ominously green. I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Bale. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please. Oh shit, the king's gonna think I murdered his wife. How do I tell him it wasn't even his wife? Oh no. He's not gonna believe me. 